Hello, this is Asher Kunun with Pulse Secure Technical Marketing, and today we're going to talk about uh, the various platforms that we uh, sell. Um, so, if you're familiar with um, our previous first generation form factors, we had the IC series for PPS, and we had the SA series. These were standalone devices that would run uh, one of the two personalities, so it would either be um, IC would be running PPS and SA would be running PCS. Then we went into second generation and the second generation uh, merged these into the MAG series appliance. So you might be familiar with these blue boxes, the old IC SA boxes, or the gray boxes that we had, uh, which were the MAG platform. And now we have our um, latest generation, which is the uh, Pulse Secure appliance, the PSA. So we have um, a little half uh, rack unit called the PSA 300. We have a one RU unit called uh, the PSA 300. I'm sorry, the th PSA 3000. Then we have the PSA 5000, a little more powerful. Then we have the, the uh, flagship, which is PSA 7000, which comes with 10 gig ports, either in fiber or copper. Uh, so you can deploy physical uh, appliances. For folks who are wanting to run uh, virtual appliances, we actually have uh, virtual appliance support um, for both PCS and PPS, and we have those running on um, three hypervisors. So you can run it on anything from VMware, so ESXi, Fusion, um, or you can run it on uh, Hyper-V, or you can run it on KVM by Red Hat. So we have um, various uh, options uh, for how you want to run these devices. And we also get a lot of questions about where, where, where is the device deployed? So if I have, uh, let's say this is my uh, corp. So this is, let's say this is uh, prem. So we're on prem now. A lot of the times uh, we'll see, we'll see uh, PCS being deployed uh, behind a firewall on the edge. For PPS, that's usually um, running on-prem somewhere inside. It doesn't have to be in line. So if you have an access infrastructure, uh, let's say you have some APs, um, and then you have your wireless LAN controller here, and then all of this is, is basically your switching layer, then you can, you can uh, pretty much run PPS uh, anywhere as long as there's connectivity. Uh, it doesn't have to be in line. Uh, you don't need a span port or anything else that you would need with other solutions. So this is just a quick summary uh, to continue the quick access series. If you want any more information, please visit www.pulsecure.net. Thank you.